Okay, so to all of you who, who are here at the end of the day, thank you for attending. Our goal uh, during uh, the discussion, the entire discussion today, you'll notice a common thread through all the presentations. They're all talking about technology, automation, productivity improvements. But with, the, with this, the same breath, they're also talking about how to bring the people along, how to provide a vision for how this makes, it uh, makes things successful, both for the company as well as for the individual employee. And I think, I think one of the things that's sort of very interesting in, in, in uh, the, the very first talk we had from Corey and the last talk we had from Jim is how very large corporations, Pepsi and Whirlpool, are also making these big changes but require the same level of attention to the employee, bringing the employee along so that, so that you get, the, get this change to be implemented. Uh, one of the things that I, as I reflect on many of these things, we as academics use this opportunity to learn about ideas from industry, and, and one of the things, even though uh, principles of lean have emphasized the role of the individual, uh, to me this seems like the absolute opportune moment where the sensors and the data at the level of the individual machine makes it all the more important for that particular individual who's seeing the data to be involved, because that's how you can leverage that information. And by the way, if that person is not going to be leveraging the information, you just wasted your time putting all those sensors because you got no benefit out of it. So this might be a great time to build in what we should always have been doing, and, and, and it provides an opportunity to leverage uh, the full benefit. Uh, the part that I found particularly interesting is the very last comment here regarding the changes from large capital investments to much more distributed, decentralized sources of data gathering that can be used to improve the process. Uh, that, to me, is going to change the way we think about uh, you know, capital investments, et cetera. Maybe we don't need to think about uh, IRR and spend all this time doing it when all it is, you put something in there, allow a little flexibility, collect the data, and the value comes from analysis of the data and improving it. Uh, that, that makes it, that's, that's manna from heaven for us, because that gets our students to say, okay, if you just applied some of the things you were taught and, you know, were actively engaged in doing your job, uh, then things might improve dramatically. But that also brings up the fact that in the absence of that engagement, maybe we wouldn't be able to leverage all of the benefits. So there are a number of threads that, that we've woven through all this, all the way from lean to automation to blockchain to empowering people, et cetera. And I'm hoping that uh, as we end the day, this, this, this has been a useful way to reflect on these things. Uh, for us as a center, we would very much love to hear from you about things we could have done better. We think this is a work in progress. We're a university. We have a wonderful set of staff and students. But when we create these, uh, these, uh, these talks, we have an idea, but what really matters is how you reflect on it and, and what you get to get, what get to learn from it. So uh, we're, the moment we're done with this conference, we start planning for the next one. And the next conference is our, we call it our spring conference. So this rightly in Indiana, usually there's a lot of snow outside, but we say, think spring is a state of mind. So if you have it end of, end of uh, January or February, uh, we'll be sending you a lot of information about uh, the spring conference, which will be focused on global supply chain management. Again, I hope you've, uh, you've enjoyed the day and have a safe trip back. Thank you very much for coming.